फ्लोटिंग एक्वेटिक प्लांट सिस्टम और आर्टिफिशियल वेटलैंड सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द न्यू ट्रीटमेंट for waste water from this diagram itself you can understand what exactly the floating aquatic plant systems are or it is also called as artificial wetland so from this diagram you can understand these floating plants are incorporated intentionally in this wetland and this waste water that is called as influent or inlet is provided into this area which is having some depth and then these floating plants are used to treat or to block some of the impurities from the inlet or influence and after filtration this outlet is clean water as compared to the inlet or this influent so this is one of the technique to treat the waste water that is called as floating aquatic plant systems or artificial wetland so this diagram clearly gives you the exact idea how exactly or the step wise procedure is done in this treatment systems so this is the one this is the first point so this one is one sewage flows into the constructed wetlands so this is the wetland yellow part so sewage is going to flow into that constructed wetland which is an excavated cell filled with the sand that serves to filter outdoors then the second stage is here these floating plants are present in that wetland so this filter consists of a large vegetative planting in this case rushes whose roots in the sand are fed by the waste water so you can observe these roots which are connected and inserted into the wetlands or in the sand then third one here the nutrients in the water are absorbed by the rushes that is juncos which sequester them in their tissues as they grow so here from this waste water the nutrients can be absorbed nutrient can be separate out with the help of this floating plants and the fourth point is the nutrients absorbed are eliminated with vegetative dieback of the rushes whose remnants from an insulating layers so the nutrients which are present as a water pollutant in this waste water can be separated out can be absorbed by these floating plants and which can be separated out easily with the help of this floating aquatic plant system the purified water filters from the wetland can be sent to the lagoon can be sent to the water bodies and this is the system that is called as artificial wetland so the requirement of the area for this wetland is near about the approximate uh, is for 1% around 5 meter square area is required for this artificial wetland so depending on the population in that region we have to calculate the area requirement for this artificial wetland for good efficiency of this filtration technique so these are the functioning of these uh, wetlands that is maybe in terms of physical remediation maybe in terms of biological remediation or maybe in terms of chemical remediation so in the physical remediation process removing of the contaminants directly or as a mechanical separation that is called as physical remediation process so like of filter equipment we can separate out the contaminants or we can remove this contaminant that is one of the functions of this wetland second one is some of the pollutants are essentially nutrients and these nutrients are going to remove are going to absorb by the plants such as nitrate ammonium or phosphate which are easily taken up in such wetlands that uh, nutrients removal or nutrient absorption is called as biological remediation process
and in the chemical absorption if some of the chemical components are going to absorb or remove by that wetland then it is called as chemical remediation process so that may be in the short term process that may be in the long term so retention or the immobilization may be in the short term duration or for the long term duration depending on the uh, type and the characteristics of that pollutant advantages of this artificial wetlands are plants can be used as low cost extraction devices as compared to the equipments which are used in the industries in some of the cases plants decompose waste faster than the microorganisms so whatever the natural activity is there some of the microorganisms or bacteria are going to convert these organic matter into the different types of waste and co2 so the with the help of this artificial wetland and with the help of this activity we can decompose these plants uh, in a faster way than the natural way the method can be applied to large areas or to complete the decontamination of restricted areas in the lengthy periods so it is applicable to the large area so these are the some of the advantages and some of the limitations of these artificial wetlands are this process is limited to the shallow water or the depth to which roots can be penetrated because these floating plants required some space these floating plants required some space or specific space for the roots because these roots and these plants are going to absorb the nutrients and then and then only this filtration technique is observed so for that purpose this is one of the limitation that shallow water or the depth to which roots can be penetrated so this process is possible uh, for the region where these wetlands can be generated the process can be a time consuming process there is a biological limit to the metals and compounds that can be captured so it is especially uh, beneficial for the nutrient absorptions and that is why metals or some other components which are acts as a water pollutant can't be absorbed by these plants so these are some of the advantages and limitations of this artificial wetland thank you